Hello, Whiskey again, bringing you another Path of Titans video. This one here is on Gigas, Giganotosaurus. This uh, I brought this video in because the Giga recently got a buff, and the Rex recently got a nerf, and it was to the turn radius on both of them. Uh, this is in the Arizona community server. The uh, the Rex got a 5% turn radius nerf. And the Giga's got a, I think it was a, it was a significant turn radius increase. And we've been doing a lot of testing. I noticed uh, immediately, almost afterwards, that fighting Giga's got a lot harder uh, as a Rex main. Anytime I came across Giga's in an open area like this, I noticed right away that it was a lot harder to land the bone breaks because they're able to get in and out uh, before you can complete the bone break animation on them. And so it makes it very difficult for a Rex because the bone breaks take stamina from the Rex. And the Gigas are faster, so you also have to sprint sometimes to catch the Giga when you're on a Rex. And so the, the combination of those two things makes it to where just a couple of missed bone breaks is going to be pretty much a loss for the Rex. And this is assuming all things being equal, if you got two equal Giga players against a, a you know equally as a skilled rex player um then in a territory contest in an open area like you see right here the the gigas definitely have an advantage um i did a lot of testing with this with some of my friends um some of them are giga mains some of us are rex mains and we fought each other uh many many battles and we also fought other players in the server and we played both Gigas and Rexes. Uh, sometimes I played on my Rex fighting the Gigas and sometimes I played on a Giga with a friend fighting another Rex and uh, we did a lot of battles in different terrain and different situations and that's what uh, we've basically determined. It's, it's pretty obvious actually. Uh, and the, the state that it's in right now with the, the Giga having this improved turn radius against a Rex with a reduced turn radius, it spells sure sure uh, defeat for the Rex almost every time. Um, it, there's certain occasions where if a Giga makes a mistake, the Rex can capitalize on it and get the win, but it's very, very slim. Uh, Giga players have seldom make that same mistake twice. So, um, like I said, all things being equal, in an open field in a territory contest, the Gigas definitely have a, a clear advantage right now. Um, I think the Gigas, you know, they did need a turn radius increase, but I don't think the Rex needed a turn radius nerf whatsoever. It's already got atrocious turn radius, and uh, the fact that they, they they lessened it is even worse. Even with a turn radius tail, it's just it's just not enough. Um, it makes it too easy for the, the smaller, quicker things to get in and out from behind you, and um, it kind of it, it kind of forces you to, to be strictly an ambush predator, which, I mean, isn't the worst thing in the world. A wreck should be an ambush predator, and it really shouldn't be out, you know, roaming the plains, like, fighting everything in sight, it, and I, I understand that. Uh, so I don't mind it too much, but I just wanted to share... Um, some videos with you showing that uh, definitely the Gigas have an advantage in an open area. And if you're a Rex player, even if you're a good one, uh, just know that if you go out into the plains, it's going to be a huge challenge to defeat two skilled Gigas. If you're in a hunt um, as a Rex, then uh, you can use the terrain to your advantage. You can get into a corner and make it to where you do have a bit more of an advantage and you, you have a much better chance of winning. Um, but it's going to be still going to be still going to be kind of hard um, for the Rex even then. I really think they need to give the Rex back its turn radius. Uh, I think taking that five percent away was too much. It, it was just it was everybody didn't think it was going to be a big deal. A lot of people didn't think it was going to be a big deal because I saw a lot of people saying, "Oh, it's only five percent." Even my friends that play Rex are like, "Yeah, I don't really notice it." But once we started fighting Gigas regularly. Uh, you can tell that's that's the that's the the difference that it made right there just that little five percent so um, I say leave the gigas turn radius where it is but give the the Rex back its turn radius and I think that would even the odds out a little bit more for the Rex 
either that or give the Rex more stamina because it's 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 a stamina fight. The Rex runs out of stamina typically in the fight against a couple of good gigas, and that's what ends up causing it to, to lose the fight. And so the other factors are, I mean, with gigas you, you get two in a group, whereas a Rex you have to be solo. So you've got two players versus one. That's already an advantage for the giga players. You've got two brains working against one brain. You've got two, the, the Rex has to worry about things coming in two different directions. Um, they're also more maneuverable, so the Rex can't just run them down. It's got to play defensively and wait for them to come in. And they can get in and out, move around, shuck and jive, all that stuff. And the Rex has to deal with it, and when it does deal with it effectively, it has to use its stamina. So it gets the Rex run out of its stamina. Um, you know, in a forest uh, where you can ambush them, or you can use the terrain, you can use trees and rocks and things to get the gigas to where they get stuck, that's going to be the best option for a Rex player right now. Um, and, you know, if you try to get the giga to make a mistake. If you can do that, then, then, the, then the Rex can, can get the win. Uh, but, like I said, all things being equal, right now I think Rex is going to be better in the forest, uh, in tight spots. And the, the Gigas are definitely better out on the plains or out in open areas right now. So I've got some gameplay here. I'll kind of talk through a little bit of what we were doing and explain the fight scenario a little bit. And maybe that'll, uh, that'll help some people deal with these types of scenarios, whether you're a Giga player or a Rex player. So in this fight here, we were fighting a pretty experienced Rex player. Uh, I know this player, uh, Citrus, she's actually a good Path of Titans player and very experienced on the Rex. So this was a good challenge for us. You can see what she's doing is very smart here, getting herself in between the rock and the burrow to try to limit our movement as much as possible. Uh, in a territory contest, you have to be on the open. You can't back yourself up to a cliff, but you can kind of get into a position like this where it's a little bit better for you rather than just where it's all the way open. At least we do have a couple of obstacles to watch out for. So that's one of the main things you want to do as a Rex player against the Gigas. You might have caught that just a few minutes ago in the video um, where I got caught in between her and the rock and she almost landed a bone break but I had to use the charge, the Gigas charge ability to get away from it. So that's one thing you can do is if they do get close to you or they use red herring you can use your charge to get away. Um, and that's how indeed how I lost on the previous fight to my friend Lycan is because I forgot about the charge because I'm not a really experienced Giga player and he caught me but if I used the charge I would have been able to get away and like I say I mean that's the type of mistake you probably only make once and uh, you'll make it again and indeed now when I'm playing Giga if I get surprised or in a situation I'm immediately hitting that charge ability it is kind of like a get out of jail free card really the Giga has a lot of really good abilities I mean it's got two different kinds of bleed bites a charge bleed bite and a quick one I think they're both good I've seen them both used very effectively uh, it's got the bulldoze ability to knock things around it's got the um, uh, the charge that we talked about it's got a couple of kicks and then it's got pain inhibitor and a bleed damage thing um, I usually use pain inhibitor I think most people do because it's the counter to the Rex and if you're going to be encountering some Rexes you need to have something to deal with the bone break these these fights can be really long and drawn out and you have to be very patient and not get too aggressive or not get too anxious to jump in and and try to to, to get the Rex uh, because one one mistake can, can be over for you the clip I have coming up after this is when I was on my Rex fighting Citrus and my other friend Chosen on their Gigas and they end up killing me um, because it's, again it just boils down to the to the turn radius really on the Rex it's it's just too slow and it, if you can't catch a Giga in time then it's uh, very very difficult to to beat them as you can see by this video and the, the one that I'll play after this but I just wanted to show from both perspectives you get it from the perspective of uh, being a Giga and also a perspective of when I'm on my Rex and I lose um, just to highlight the agility of the Giga and that's really what it is it's an agility apex whereas the Rex is, is the defensive it's the ambush 
bone break, you know, defensive, big, bulky tank of a Apex. The Giga is more of the ag agility, endurance, walk you down type Apex. Bleed, you know, do the bleed, get the bleed stacked up, and then be patiently stalking your prey or walking down your prey until they finally bleed out or lose stamina and you can finish them off. So two different types of play styles, both great Apex dinosaurs. Um, two Giga still pretty much equals one Rex, but in the open field, like I said, uh, the Gigas are going to have an advantage. And the Rex is going to have the advantage in the tight quarters and forested areas. So they might have done a really good job of balancing to keep the different apexes in different biomes, which is actually pretty brilliant, really, if that's what it results in. Hopefully it does. I don't know if they intended that or not, but um, I think it would actually be kind of a cool thing. Uh, it's not it's not the worst scenario, like I said earlier. It's actually uh, something that would be kind of cool for realism and for players who experience different types of apexes in different areas rather than having all the apexes fighting in one small area on this gigantic map. So we'll have to see how it goes. But I do hope they improve the Rex's turn radius just a little bit. See so here she lands the bone break but it was way too late. And uh, I think she's trying to use Deep Rumble here, which is smart, but it's just too late in the fight, and we're able to just go ahead and, and um, withstand any damage she can do. Our DPS right now is going to be far greater than hers with two gigas biting, uh, and she's not going to be able to get that last bone break in. Uh, look how much health he's still got there, you know. It's just uh, she's going to have a four call. Um, that's just the way it's going to go. Rex v Giga in the state that they're in right now. So this is the other fight I referenced where I'm playing as the Rex obviously here and I'm fighting Citrus and Chosen on their Gigas and um, we'll see how this fight goes. They're both using Charge Bite uh, which can be effective like I said. You, some people use the Bleed, some people use the Charge. Both of them work. Depends on your play style really. Um, but I've got them kind of, I did surprise them a little bit here so I've got them in a, in a better part of the map than I would normally uh, be in. At least I'm not in like an all flat ground. They do have some terrain to worry about here. And uh, I think this one was a really close fight actually. Uh, I do miss some bone breaks, but I am using the, the hill there and this wall. I'm trying to stay close enough to the wall and try to do unpredictable movements. And I know one of them is going to be baiting me with their charge while the other one lands the charge. So I'm doing the best I can to land that bone break. Now right here, I still have enough stamina left here where I probably should have uh, used Deep Rumble. But I didn't think I was going to need it, and so I just try to focus the blue one as much as I can. And try to get him low enough to either floor call or to get the kill. I'm trying to position myself as much as possible where they're not both biting me, but it can be really hard. And so here I just kind of banked on the fact that I was going to be able to out DPS him before they both out DPS me. And I think when I tried to reposition right there was my big mistake because they got a couple of more bites on me than I would have liked. And that's the loss. So you can see it's uh, even when you do get them into a position that's advantageous. Uh, for you as a Rex, it's still pretty hard. If they know what they're doing, they know how to use that DPS like that, where there's two giga DPS versus one Rex, then they're probably going to end up out DPSing you, just like you saw in that clip right there. This fight was a little bit different. This, will, this is a fight, uh, an example of a fight where the, the giga players are probably not um, as experienced. They're trying to three call to start a Terry, but I'm mock biting in return because I want to make sure that they know that I want to hunt because I want to be able to use this first of all I am hungry enough to hunt so it's not the worst thing in the world to eat a giga and I'm in a I want to be able to use this terrain I've got kind of a cliff behind me I've got a tree right here that I can back up to and there's some hills it's not just a flat area where they can be doing their figure eights around me so I'm in a really good spot here I don't think these gigas really realize that and uh, I'm waiting for a chance to use my red herring and jump one of them and I kind of want to do it when they're over here next to the tree or next to the cliff rather than when they're out there um, in the field and the closer they are to me the better because I need to expend as little stamina as possible so I'm gonna try to bait them a little bit I'll uh, be moving forward and backwards a little bit and kind of 
doing my movements as unpredictably as possible so they don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing or when I'm going to be doing it. I want to try to stay in that crouch position so that I can pop it, the red herring. And here is where I pop it. That guy uses the charge, which is exactly what he needed to do to get out of the way. But that one doesn't use it, so that's my target. And now all I have to do is just DPS it. That other Giga is not here in time. He should be here right now, way sooner than what he was, because I was able to get all those bites on that Giga. That's basically just a Rex V Giga. I mean, it was a 1v1 for way too long before the other one participated. So I knew right then and there that this was going to be a win. All I have to really do is just focus the one down, and I've got enough health to withstand all these other bites. And that's it. It's a GG's. So hopefully this helped. Um, I do hope they change the Rex soon. We'll see what they do. But thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you out there on Gondola. Goodbye.